In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to set up pages for your new website that you have built in Sites and to take a look at some of the templates that they've provided uh, as you begin to build pages. So first of all, we see the home page. This was built when you set up your website and it is called the start page and it is really a template that is just called a web page and in it you can add many things. Let me show you. In fact, you can add this to any of the templates. If I go up here to edit, click on that, I could insert many things. We can see images, I can do links, I could set up a table of contents if it's a real long page. Uh, over here, things from my um, Google accounts, I could set up a chart, a document that I already have a drawing that I may have done in Google Apps, a presentation, a spreadsheet, or put some videos in there from set up a link from YouTube or a video that I've put in my Google Docs slash drive. So there are many things that you could do on this web page, but you could also do all of these on any of the templates that are provided. You could also set up the layout and you could have a one column or two column or three column simple or there are a number of other possibilities as you set up the layout of your web page. So let's take a look at some of the other templates. Again, this was called web page. Another one is called announcements. And we can see that one right here. It looks like this. It's quite simple. It's just for keeping people up to date on whatever you have, maybe homework assignments, maybe announcements to parents of an upcoming field trip. So you just set up a post. I have two posts that I have put in here. And I could look at each of them also. So that's what an announcement template is. A third one is called file cabinet. A file cabinet is where you can add links, like here I have a link, or I could add a, a file, and this is a, a document that I have put in there, that, and you can tell by, I can download it. I've even added a, a picture that the students could download for an assignment they may be doing. So you can have downloads or you could have links. And you can also organize them into folders. Here I've kept this organized. These downloads are all under geometry and this is under fractions. So you can, whatever you need to, you'd like them to download or put links in. Again, this is the file cabinet. Think of it just like a regular file cabinet. Things that you want available for them to uh, use. It might even be some videos you want them to download and use. The last one I'm going to show you is a list. And I didn't make one because there's a number of choices and I wanted you to see the possible choices here. You have uh, a list where you could put action items, keep track of action items from a meeting or project. An issue list, track your projects, open issues. A unit status, track the status of individual units in your project. Or you create your own list. And that is the last template that they have other than you could do another start page if you want to. So how would you set this all up? Well, for any of these, you would start by starting a new page right up here. Click on new page. You would enter the name of your new page. Then you choose the template you want. The default is web page. And there's your other choices that we already just went through, the announcements, the file cabinet, the list, or if you wanted to start a new start page. And then you hit create. Now on any page, sometimes you need to check how you've set them up. And on this page, I have some things I don't really want that are default that they have is down here a comment and add files. So on any of the pages when you're on them like I have here, go over to more, 
click on page settings and I'm going to turn off the allow comments and allow attachments because I don't want that. One thing I already have had is I've clicked on the fact that I want it showing in the uh, sidebar here under the site map. So let me hit save and now that is gone. So that's how you add pages to your website and the different templates available to put whatever you want on your website. And that ends this tutorial.